pieces, some as if we were cut like cookies from a mold, some still quite rough around the edges. You may notice we resemble those surrounding us, but differ in critical ways. Assemble us at the corners, then end edges, working your way inside as we begin to fit together. But be careful, some of us get lost in our journeys from box to table, table back to box, before being completed. Or worse, we never even get opened and feel discarded. With each year, our complexity and number of pieces increase. Yet our only guide is the image on the puzzle box handed down to us before we could remember. We now realize no one ever gave us a clue that we had to picture the image clearly in a positive way to have any hope of coming together. called pearly wisdom. Often I'm rubbed the wrong way and seek to soften its impact. Rocks get in between my socks and shoes and I must remove the source of discomfort. A grain of sand like a memory can enter into the mix and be sifted over and over yet yield only despair. But once a parasite intrudes and makes its home in you it compounds itself without your consent. Layers build up around the infection site to separate the it from the you that doesn't own its parts. The world could be your oyster only if you embrace the past and learn that hardship fosters growth and irritation passes away. Yeah, these are all kind of themes I've been uh, I don't know. Very philosophical way to do it, I guess. Um, it's called seeking. Looking for a way to beat the humdrum of routine existence. To get away so far from here, yet still so near, I recognize myself projected into a different mind space. Waiting for the day, the sun dawns through the clouds, casting no shadows. Eclipsing the black quilt of night, encompassing yesterdays, receding into the forgetfulness of memory. Yearning for a stairway, whose steps always lead upward, towards tranquility and enlightenment. Mindful that learning is paced, and wisdom is not surmounted easily by desire and impatience. Searching for something to say that reflects my inner voice, understood by someone else who knows I never had a choice to become anyone other than who I am, who sees a mirror image looking back at them. And then again, another selfish poem. Uh, it's called Higher Self. You are the force that beckons me forward when life bottoms out and I'm stuck in the mud of my own undoing. You are the face that welcomes me in the mirror when I can't face myself and I ruminate over the woes of yesterday I can't erase. You are the one that puts me in my place while my self-regard wanes and I can't see the point of tre treading water to stay afloat. You are the one I become that writes my narrow navigated course when reason fails as a compass and I battle the Sisyphean rock of emotional inertia weighing me down. That's it. Thank you.